Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have another neat review for you today. This is the SEMA X8SW. Now, looking at this quadcopter, you can see that what it is is an upgrade to their very popular X8 series. The, the X8S series uh, includes some, some minor differences from over the, and improvements, actually, over the X8 series. Let me show you the, real quick what I kind of like about the X8S series. These propellers... Uh, they are easy, actually, quite easy to get on and off. Uh, previously in the X8, you had, to, you had to fiddle with a pin. Actually, these just pop right on and off, and, and it makes it really easy if, in case you're going out in the field and you want to pack this up uh, easily. They just twist on and lock themselves in place. So, in effect, you can pack this up, make it you know, quite compact very easily to take with you. The same goes with the... Uh, um, landing gear skids, they just also pop on and off. Okay, that's a huge improvement over the X8 because the X8 took quite a while to build. <laughs> you had to assemble it. This one here goes together one, two, three, four, five, you're ready to go. Um, other improvements, I don't know if this is an improvement, but the battery is a, if you look at this thing, it's somewhat of a proprietary battery. Actually, it's just a 2000 milliamp hour, standard milliamp hour. There's its, um, uh, what do you call it? balance plug port, but they have encased that battery within a special charging uh, assembly. Uh, I, th I think the argument is to make sure that you don't <laughs> mess up connecting the plugs in reverse order, which might cause a fire. I don't see how anybody could do that, but you know, it is a proprietary style battery, so you are going to need to purchase these off of SEMA. That's the one I think I don't really like about this quad cup. Other than that, yeah, it's it's also an altitude hold quadcopter. We're going to demonstrate that here shortly. It comes with a Wi-Fi camera. I got the X8SW version. It comes with a Wi-Fi camera. Now that Wi-Fi camera is actually supposedly, truly capable of 2 megapixel 720p video. And to do that, they provide you with an SD card slot and an SD card that you can insert there. You know, um, it also records to your phone. Now, I'm not sure that's going to be 720p. We're going to find out here in post-editing. But uh, it is capable of recording simultaneously also to a, an SD card. So you're going to get two recordings in, during your flight. Uh, you can record to your phone directly, or you can record to the SD card with the advantage of the SD card giving you true HD video. Um, other things about the quadcopter. The quadcopter now has an on-off switch, which is right here to turn the quadcopter on and off. And it also has, I like this red trim against the white background. It, it makes it look kind of sharp. I kind of like that. <laughs> okay, let's go over the transmitter itself now. Again, I have the Wi-Fi version, so my transmitter has a an attachment for my phone. But the transmitter has been revised from the previous SEMA X8 transmitter. It's much smaller, much more compact. Um, you have two buttons in the upper left uh, uh, shoulder. The, this one here in the forward section is for video, starting the video camera and stopping it. Remember to always stop your video or you will lose it. Uh, and the back button is for taking photos. Uh, the right shoulder buttons, this forward one here is for starting the motors and stopping the motors. And the back one here is for activating flips. Now this <laughs> kind of scares me. You know, it would be bad to stop the motors in flight. Um, maybe that just when you press it in flight, it will land it. But uh, be careful when you're wanting to do flips not to mix up these two buttons. With that in mind, um, this has similar controls to the SEMA X8H series, which has an issue. Um, if you want to take off, you can also, instead of using this button, you can move this throttle up and hold it up for a second and let go, and it will start the motors. But uh, alternatively, you can accidentally and turn off the motors by bringing the stick down and holding it down for about three seconds and those motors will shut off and that can possibly occur in air. I am not going to try that while I'm flying here but keep in mind if you know with the X8 series with altitude hold put your thumb there to prevent you from pulling this stick down all the way while you're holding this transmitter. That's a little trick that I use with the X8 H series. I don't know if that's an issue with the X8S but I don't intend to find out because <laughs> I don't want my quadcopter dropping from the sky. Um, another thing, you can start the motors and stop them also by just bringing both sticks down and inboard. That will start and stop them. And finally, this does, you can change the rates on the quadcopter by pressing in on the pitch roll stick quickly. Or you can enter into headless mode by holding down 
this button for two seconds. So that's it in effect. So let's start up the X8SW and see how it performs. I am going to start pointing it in that direction to set our headless mode bearing. So turning on the quadcopter and then I'm going to go into the settings on my phone and look for the quadcopter signal and connect to it and then open the app. Okay, I have the SEMA FPV app started. You get this from, uh, actually you have to get this from SEMA. They don't have it on uh, Google Play. I'm not sure why that is, but I'll include the link to the SEMA FPV app in my uh, review. But you hit start and we're showing video and I am going to start recording to directly to my phone by pressing that button there in the upper left. And also I am pressing the video button to start video recording on the quadcopter. Actually, I need to turn the transmitter on before I can do that. Binding to the quadcopter and pressing the video button. So we should be recording also to the SD card right now. And I am going to press the takeoff land button. And it takes to the air. Let's see. It. Now it does have altitude hold, as you can see here. And you can tell that you're recording. Let's go up a little bit higher by seeing the blinking lights beneath it. See the blinking lights, folks? That just lets me know that we're recording. So let's go for a slow ride first over the desert. And I'm looking at my camera. And, you know, I'm seeing lag, as to be expected for a Wi-Fi camera. <laughs> but that's where the 720p camera comes into play. So I am both recording to my phone and also recording to my camera. By the way, folks, how do you like my new tie-dye for today? <laughs> California version. <laughs> Let's go right overhead. <laughs> Okay, we'll go up higher now. And go up wind too. Which way is the wind blowing? That way, it's coming from the mountain, so we'll go up toward the mountain. And I still got some signal. And the reason I'm doing this, folks, just in case I lose signal, the wind should blow it back toward me. And I'm losing Wi-Fi signal right about there, so that should be good enough. And let's rotate. But I, again, I am still recording. Doing a slow rotate as it goes by. Every once in a while I get the picture again. Oh, got a signal there. It looks kind of good actually on my phone as it's going overhead. And let's bring it down now. Only about, uh, I'd say about 50 to, 80, 50 to 70 meters up. Coming down. And again, I'm putting my thumb. See how where I'm putting my thumb as I'm descending? I don't want to bring it down too hard. Because I don't want that motor shutting down. And I've lost signal on my Wi-Fi app. I'm not sure why that is. So we're bringing it down now. See if I can regain signal. And since I lost signal, <laughs> I'm gonna land it. We're gonna press the auto land button. Okay, it's I'm gonna fight, it's fighting the wind a bit here. And I'm gonna come over here and press the land button, see what happens. It's descending, descending, to, ooh. Emergency stop. <laughs> don't press that it doesn't do a lot of landing very good <laughs> it comes down hard so in effect when you're coming down use the throttle to descend okay I'm going to stop the video now and make sure those blinking lights stop on the bottom and I'm going to try to research why I lost a video signal here with the FPV app it says I, could, I have signal I'm going to restart SEMA FPV see if I can regain video Yes, I do. There we go. So, once you lose signal, you know, from this app, apparently you need to restart the app to get the signal back again. So, let's, uh, this time, let's take off again. Starting the video one more time. And starting the video on my camera there, or my phone. 
I uh, got a feeling we lost the video from the phone recording. So we're going to go back up again. And this time, let's try the headless mode. We're going to go out this way, to right about there, and press headless mode. Only the throttle down, or the pitch roll stick down until we hear that beeping. Okay, I got the quadcopter pointed toward me, and that don't matter. That is always forward, pushing forward. This is always left, right, and back. So we are definitely in headless mode. Bringing it back toward me by pulling back toward me. Let me take care of that. We lost the video again, folks, I know. <laughs> but here we go. This time I am going to make sure we get this video. So the headless mode does work. And headless mode comes in handy if you want to do panning. That's the main feature <laughs> that you could do with headless mode. Where it comes in handy. You can always keep it pointed toward you if, with a little skill and practice. So you can simulate circle me as I'm doing right now. Or do an easy rider ending pan shot. <laughs> Actually, let's bring it in close again. Okay, I want to make sure I got the video that time. Here, I'm going to come out of headless mode too. Headless mode off. And I'm going to go up higher again. And yeah, right about there actually. Going up wind and then doing a rotate. Showing the camera. This is intended so I can show the Wi Fi recording from the quadcopter. And I'm going to stop the Wi-Fi recording here shortly. Make sure I get that video. Stopping it now. But I'm leaving the main camera running. You know, you can't see the signal, the Wi-Fi signal, on this quadcopter. On your screen, it tells you how good that Wi-Fi signal is. So you can try to avoid going out of range. I'm going to come down a little lower here. And we're going to try... To see its maneuverability now. Let's bring it in a little closer here. Turning off the video camera. Let's go to a higher rate. And that is by pressing this button once. We got beginner and intermediate rate. Let's see how maneuverable this thing is. Oh my. It is somewhat fast and maneuverable. Surprisingly so. Let's try a flip. <laughs> Let's forget about the flips, folks. <laughs> it went down to the ground after that flip. Let's go a little higher and do another flip. Right about there. Yeah, it needs some uh, <laughs> real estate vertically to do flips, but in terms of speed and maneuverability, yeah, this thing can cook. Or book, I meant. And cook. <laughs> and intermediate rate. And going back to normal flying. That's my lights. Lights are still good. Okay, I'm going to turn on the 720p camera one more time. And we got blinking lights and going back up again. Right about there. And we're going to rotate one more time to show the area. Trying to rotate slowly, but and yeah, coming back down, reducing throttle. And remember, put your thumb there, folks, so it don't it don't shut itself off. Okay, we're back near the ground again. We got a wind picking up here from my back. So, and let's see what the lights are doing right now. Okay, I'm turning off the camera. 
Do I still have power? I still have power, surprisingly enough. Okay, then in that case, let's come down to about that level there. Turn the camera on one more time and just fly around the desert. Low pass over the bushes. <laughs> and over my head. Interesting quadcopter, X5SW. Okay, it's flying for a good long time. I better turn the camera off again. How's my lights? I still got power, folks. I don't know how this thing has so much flight time, but it does. Well, it's got a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, so I guess that's why. This camera coming back on again. <laughs> a long flyer or a big flyer? And camera coming off again. Let's bring it in and see if those lights are flashing yet. Yeah, I'm going overhead looking. Yeah, lights are flashing. So let's land it. I'm going to land it right there. Gradually reduce the throttle because that auto land feature did not seem to work very well, folks. I don't want to tip it again. And let's, sh let's see it's shut down that way. See? See how the motors can shut down if you hold the throttle down? That's why you, you've got to be careful when coming down that you don't do that in flight. And uh, turning off the quadcopter by pressing the button and holding it. Okay, so that's the X5SW. Um, my thoughts, um, yeah, <laughs> the altitude old quadcopter with uh, Wi-Fi. Um, what I, again, I like is the capability to actually record to uh, HD onto the card because I know the video that's being recorded to the SEMA app to your phone is probably not HD. It's probably going to be 640 by 480. We'll find out if I'm lying or not uh, in post-flight here when I edit, include uh, the sample of that video. So, and I do like the ability to easily break this down if you want to carry it with you and take it with you on uh, vacation somewhere. So, X5SW from SEMA. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.